welcome again guys um, uh, in this section I will tell you how you can uh, select the communication uh, features and hardwares uh, in the Dixie 5 so it's very simple uh, from here you have to first of all select hardware and protocol okay once you click it uh, it's very simple you will see the Dixie 5 device uh, one is the rear view uh, also the different ports uh, are shown in it and uh, the front view with the uh, HMI interface and the LED uh, versions is also shown here okay here you can see in the rear view of the device communication uh, ports are shown uh, what are these ports these ports are the ports that we have as we have entered the uh, relay project information or product code short code uh, all the information is available in it uh, so the Dixie 5 is taking the information and then it's drawing this uh, rear uh, view showing the communication port that we have uh, entered in our uh, product code so Dixie 5 has a big advantage uh, and it is that uh, it's not defining the communication protocol which are running in the in these ports uh, but we have a select uh, flexibility it means that uh, we can select uh, different communication protocols on one port okay there there are certain type of protocols uh, which are uh, which can be selected so if you have a communication module and it, it has a flexibility of select, selecting certain types of protocols so you can easily switch between these types but the pr pr principle uh, here is that uh, uh, we ca you can always switch between same type of protocols it means that uh, uh, in, uh, you can switch from one serial protocol to another serial protocol or also you can uh, you can switch from one ethernet uh, protocol to another ethernet protocol okay here each uh, device is coming with the uh, uh, spare port uh, where you can insert two new modules and also you can see here one ethernet modules already available in the relay uh, so you have a space for two that you want to uh, you want to add you can add here this hardware one ethernet port is already available uh, for example you can use this ethernet port to communicate uh, with the relay through ethernet uh, uh, cable okay here if you want to configure these two ports you have to double click it and then you can see uh, the port configuration uh, here you can select the subnet you can select here the IP address you can define IP address here and you can define subnet mask uh, of the relay further uh, you can select the communication protocol here uh, uh, the different uh, for example here we will select in communication we will select the protocol IC 161.850 okay after selecting the communication protocol the configuration of communication protocol are done in a separate configurator and it is called a, a station configurator so all the configuration you have to do in station configuration if you have a more devices all the configuration can be done through station configuration so that's why you don't need to add any uh, setting here related to communication uh, however for if you want to select a network protocol uh, you just have to come to uh, channel 1 where you want to set, select the protocol uh, here for example we will select SNTP once you select SNTP all the communication settings will be appearing on the left side okay uh, you can see on the right side uh, the settings of SNTP are shown this is time source 1 which is the IP address of GPS 1 this is the time source 2 which is IP address of GPS 2 here you can enter these settings uh, time IP addresses of GC, uh, GPS's here you can define time interval and start time ok uh, next uh, topic is uh, here you can select the network redundancy protocols there are various protocols available in the uh, relay uh, for example we have uh, RSTP, PRP, HSR and the line mode so normally I have seen uh, PRP which is being used uh, in the in the release uh, mostly 
okay next topic is uh, if you want to if, if you want to replace the module in the in the base slot it's very easy in the configuration you have to right click and delete uh, after it is delete uh, simply you can select in the cat from the catalog communication you can select another communication module there that, that you want to install just have to drag and drop here so we have uh, selected an uh, optic serial module and we have drag and we want to drop it here uh, this is not the end uh, uh, if you want to add more modules here like input output modules other hardware you can add here CTVT modules it's very easy you can add for example four we have slot of one two three four modules here you will you can select these modules from the uh, catalog side and drop here similarly you can you also have to do, uh, do, uh, define the front view of these modules here for example uh, I want to insert a input output module so I will select the input output module okay I'm adding now this input output module 205 once I select as soon as I select it you can see the four options where can I drop it is turned into blue this is not blue so I have to drag and drop here so I'm dropping here okay now uh, this is the configuration that I have done for the rear but for the front also I have to select the operation panel and I am selecting LEDs I will select these LEDs and drop to the front panel here I have successfully uh, dropped the LEDs and these are uh, installed in it finally one more thing that I am adding here is if, if you don't know about the module uh, uh, details so you just select it and the downside you can see the description of the module for example this module is having 12 binary inputs and 16 binary outputs and this is 16 standard release uh, if you want to install more than four modules this is also possible you can uh, if you come down you will see you can add here more modules like 7 8 9 10 like this so Dixify is providing uh, extreme um, flexibility to add module. So if you select this this module one, so all the dif uh, dif uh, different uh, uh, details of this module are shown below, like uh, VT VT pins, like module binary input outputs. Everything is is shown here down. Uh, further here, you can also put a label to a specific item. For example, voltage transformer address one dash one. I have to find the terminals then I have added the, uh, the label here similarly you can also add uh, this is input output module and this is output relay fast relay F I have defined all these details and also I have used that this contact is used for trip this is user defined so I think this function is really useful uh, by this function um, you can from the hardware uh, directly you can see the configuration of the relay you can see which contact is used for tripping which contact used for reclosing which contact is connected to which alarm this is very easy so this is the excellent feature of Dixie 5